bright lights. <laughs> thank you, Maya. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here this evening. Um, it all first started here in India. About seven years ago, uh, a large group of international tourists, entrepreneurs, wannabe entrepreneurs, we came to India to travel for two weeks and it was mainly organized by Maya and Asha Tapasi and uh, the, uh, Dave Rogers and a number of others and Akil. And we had the great fortune of meeting Maya and as soon as we met, there was this very strong connection and uh, I can only describe it by it was a very powerful feeling and we traveled for two weeks we talked about how we can work together to make the world a better place or how we can contribute to making the world a better place and one thing led to another and the uh, the birth of global dialogue foundation happened soon after so I'm very privileged and I feel very grateful and I feel very excited, also nervous, that we are here in India right now and we are taking forward the Unity and Diversity World Civil Society project. So I, I'd like to give you a little bit of background from where it stems, where we're headed and not how we're going to do it but what we're really committed to. And Perhaps the commitment is the place to start, and that is in empowering communities, empowering citizens, empowering individuals, civil society organizations. So ultimately, the project aims to establish a uh, planetary citizens assembly, so that at the international level, at the UN level, just like there is today a United Nations, Tomorrow, or at the sooner we can get there, the better, we have a united civilizations, a body that governs a pillar, rather, a pillar that supports uh, the sustainability of our one spaceship, our one species, our one human family. So. How does that really translate on the ground and why are we really here? So over the last seven years, fast forward to where we are, we've been working quite actively with the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations on bringing people from different cultures together to create a dialogue, to initiate new partnerships at the grassroots level. So the United Nations works up at the high level and we work at the grassroots level, like in the actual community. And what we're talking about is bringing representatives from community who have the common good in their hearts, who really are working towards the improvement of the general welfare of society together for dialogue. So most people will, will know that when we come together, we can find solutions. We get to know each other, we, f we learn about the other, we get to understand other cultures, other religions, and then after the initial gathering, we become friends. And then as friends, we can work together to help meet the needs of the community. So, you know, Alexander the Great came to India, and I hear this a lot from people in India, and it, it's very close to my heart because I'm also of Macedonian descent. And, uh, you know, I aspire I really aspire to um, the unity and the dignity and the respect and the appreciation um, that I find in India. And it, it, uh, we were exploring this last night in our conversations around, you know, what's India's place in the world for creating this united civilization? What does it mean for us to create a united civilization? And as Maya was speaking earlier about the press, we were, I think they were finding it difficult to understand that we really feel that India is a peaceful nation. In comparison to what's happening around the world, India is peaceful. And there's so much goodness here for us to share. But above all, 
how do we make this very practical? And we're practical people, and the task for us is to um, really concretize or really um, uh, bring down to the grassroots realities, people in communities, the organizations and the individuals who want to contribute to building a stronger community. You're all invited to join us tomorrow, but not just tomorrow. It's really to ensure a continuous collaboration that will see the fruits come to bear. So um, I think tomorrow we'll have a, uh, uh, another chance to go through some more details. Uh, tonight really is uh, a, it's an amazing honor to be here. I want to congratulate Maya Shahani, Akil, the uh, Tadamal Shahani Center for Management, all of the team members, uh, Roshni, um, everyone who's put tonight together. It's a very, very special occasion. And if I can ask everyone to put your hands together to congratulate. Uh, before I leave, I have a message to read um, from our uh, chairman, from Global Dialogue Foundation's chairman. And his name is K.K. Sarachandra Boss, and uh, he can't be with us tonight, but I do have a message. So here I go. So let me place on record, as the chairman of Global Dialogue Foundation, I wish to extend my fondest regards to our GDF vice chairperson, Mrs. Maya Shahani, and her team for organizing this special event and continuing the momentum of unity and diversity in India. But also the tireless work of our founder, Dr. Vasco Nadovsky, and our CEO, Petsa Georgievsky, for bringing this vision forward where people of all walks of life can come together through dialogue, build understanding with patience, collaboration, where we can all celebrate and safeguard their, our own cultural identity. Congratulations to all as the fruits of our efforts on unity and diversity and building inclusive societies are for all to enjoy and prosper. So, um, I guess before I leave, uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce Mike Hancock. Mike Hancock is the Senior Director uh, of the Global Dialogue Foundation Administrative Board. And some of you uh, will know Mike. He's uh, very popular around the world. He's been traveling around the world making movies, singing songs, promoting the cause of unity and diversity and Global Dialogue Foundation and uh, SAGE Foundation. And uh, he has uh, prepared a song for us, a short video, it's, um, and where he sings a song, and uh, we're ready to play it now. So thank you very much, and I look forward to getting to know you throughout the course of today and tomorrow. Thank you. 